Mm. Mm. Mando. Mm. Oh, it's a really cool spin. Mando. I'm all dizzy after that spin. More like crazy. Blando, because there's nothing exciting or interesting about this show. What do you well, mean? We John thought episode Hanor. three had a heartbeat in it. Did it? Oh, well, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that one did. <laughs> but that doesn't have anything to do with Mando. That somehow is like a show with a story that snuck into got lost. the other show. This is like the good version of what happened in Boba F in the in the Boba Fett show, where the Mandalorian episode snuck in. This is like that, but good. I think it would have been considered much stronger as eight good if it had like a bunch of other stories on top. You know, being as Same alone, yeah. what it is, just Gotta like have, well, that's there. I make guess. that anthology. Give some talented writers. You know, well, some, the lady some showed back up material. in episode five, Rags. So. I know, but it was almost like a, like a cameo. It didn't. Nuh uh know. she was like, oh, no. we don't like Navarro. Brr. It's because episode four was the goofy like just repeat of episode one i guess what was that repeat of parts of episode one you know just like big monster kill it and then yeah five was when we did re the last episode and it, it was it was the mandos saved navarro and they now live there but also bo katan is going to lead the mandos to becoming i don't know more mando -y. And I hope this is the episode where they finally go back to mandalore that's clearly fine i don't know if we're ever going back to mandalore Shut up. No, <laughs> shut up. That's so funny though, right? Yeah. You can take your mask off because you're a leader. It's like, why couldn't Mando have been that? What was, what's the requirement? It's like, you have to have seen the Mythosaur. Fuck. Is that why they knocked out Mando? So he couldn't have seen the Mythosaur? I think now looking back, that may have been exactly why they did that. Because it made no sense at all. Pressure, either <laughs> he takes in water fall. or he doesn't. You can't have both. I just love as well, like, you could just be making it up. Or she could actually have saw bullshit and thought it was a myth or But it's like, ah, eh, whatever. You could just be our leader now. Yeah. This was directed by Ryan Johnson. It would have been some, yeah, some crap like that. Or like, actually, no. There, there just wasn't, there, the myth or wasn't there. I just fucking lied to you. So Speaking there, it's subversive. of directors, this one, this one we're about to watch is done by Bryce Dallas Howard, who created oh, right. the episode in season one that made us all go, holy fuck, this show's dead. Like that, that's, that's the fourth, <laughs> uh, yeah, the fourth episode, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah, uh, boy, what a what a thing. Combat Showcase currently unavailable. Shall do it the next we are available, able. Instead, for now, we shall basically just jump into the episode, I think. Hell sure. yeah. That's fine with me. Finally, I've been waiting all it. week. You are not Mandalorian. <laughs> God, that was cringy, uh, wasn't it? You are not. Yeah, yeah remember those weirdos. other characters that were with her? <laughs> Does that mean he just didn't know about other Mandalorians? Dark Saber again. It must be one. In battle. Oh, I guess God, so, yeah. Are we doing Why another we fucking Bo Katan Darksaber back, episode again? Oh, definitely, right? Just after what we did with the last episode. She's getting the Darksaber this episode. Yeah. I know, yeah. so preemptively, because this will definitely come up. I just ha I can sense it in my brain hole. What makes the Darksaber heavy? Is it like some like confidence or yeah, some bullshit? Yeah, you have to believe yeah, in yeah. yourself or whatever. Oh, that's so stupid. The, I'm pretty that, sure they mentioned it in season two that like you're not good with the dark saber because you don't have confidence with it. Oh, or in on. Boba Fett, it's in Boba mm -hmm. Fett, the episode four or whatever. It gets heavier with each move. That is because you are fighting against the blade. Dude, he keeps using it even though it's fucking. Well, it's dark pretty shit damn around. powerful, but he's. he's Why does it not weigh it, yeah. him down when the blade is out though? It has to be out for it to be heavy, Rags. You idiot. Our people have strayed. Wow, this is so. This is just going to be a Bocaton episode then. Also, awesome. I love. We her said character. this would happen. We said there'd be a POV for her. This is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to us. None of you can go, and you have to keep your helmets on. Is anyone no starting to think Mandalorian as a show is only designed to grow? and then send off other characters into their own shows. This is like the, mm. the I, I don't want to say fertile soil, but it's like the, <laughs> the wet napkin in a cart in the kindergarten class. You know what you it know is, Rex, right? you know what it is? When a baby is, is like, ooh, chocolate, yeah, chocolate, you put it real close to the mouth and then you throw in a different thing right at the end. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? And oh, it's like, yeah. look, Mando, you like him, pew pew. Oh yeah, look, that's cool, and ah, Bo-Katan. And the baby <laughs> like, wait, what is this? <laughs> and then Mando appears right at the end of the episode, like, I'm here though. And you're like, oh, okay. I, oh, I like, yay, yeah, I like this here. then. Yes, yeah, I approve this. Is of great. This. I okay. saw the thing. Oh, that ship looks like the gun from Fifth Element. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a neat looking ship. I like it. I kind of like it too. Is everything we drink around here fucking blue? There's a fish in yeah. there. Oh, you are not. Are you going to pour that in there? Okay. <laughs> oh wow, that fish wanted to die. I can't hear you. <laughs> Speak louder. Gesture with your tentacles. I still don't know why I'm the only one needs to be in a tank. At least we're getting alien stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where why the budget she... goes in this show. Why is she in the tank though? 
Because they're fish people, and they do tank water and stuff. They need tank time. Oh, we're done with the I guess water. that's interesting. If they need water or something, then the little cylinder pops up for the captain because the captain has to like be present or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's something. Yeah, no, that's no, a no. neat little thing. Hail, Imperial friends. Man, your clothes look very dry, <laughs> considering that yeah. you're just subsumed by liquid. I am not a criminal. I meant to say that we were not aware of the majestic Imperial presence in this sector. Wow, that's right, now you're just sucking. Now, now you're just sucking our cocks. Let's stop. We are not Imperial either. It's the Mandos. Yay. Mm. We are Mandalorian. Ugh. You're too late to hire us. Someone has hired. Oh God, hair you. lady's back. We've been commissioned to track you down, Captain Shuggeth. Why would you tell her that? Not just fucking this open fire. Back. We were already hired by a certain Mon Calamari viceroy who has reason to believe you absconded with her son. Oh, okay. So they have like captured someone. We finally have peace with the Calamari. Why oh, are we doing like uh, Troy By the way, here? I don't believe I don't believe that those sounds are coming out of that mouth. No, not even close. But that's okay. I won't go. I won't go. <laughs> Wait, so they kidnapped the child of the leader of the Mon Calamari and thought they could get away with it? I guess. Because they're in love? Hey, lady, no. All right, so just like go with the Mandalorians and your chick will be alive and you could meet up with her later. Don't make us damage your girlfriend's pretty little ship. Yeah, like, seriously. You well, already said a... the ship was too heavily fortified. Just go and then try to meet up later. What a crazy bad idea that they thought they could get away with. I can't destroy everything I've built for a childish fling. You literally were. That's what you just did. Almost. Yeah, you were already on the way. Well, yeah, but now there's like stakes and potential repercussions. I just mean like, wow, this is uh If they were trying to oh, you know. reach a level of peace with the Mon Calamari, this is going to set it back quite a bit. Come with us, Prince. You can do this. Oh, you're here. Okay, hello. Wait, yeah, did they just allow them on? Okay, Captain didn't give any orders, but okay. Okay, well, that's about how it should have ended. All right, yeah, fair enough. I just, I'm surprised they ever would have tried that shit. What a stupid idea. Whooshing. Whooshing. The sound effect I always enjoy in space. This is a Star Wars rags. It's whooshing Shaky all cam, time. yeah. Because you know how whenever you're on the ground looking up, you're just shaking? Oh, neat. I just love shaking. The dome. That's quite a fleet. Most of it was captured from the Empire. Yeah, you mentioned they tried to admit you for it. Could come in real handy taking back Mandalore. From Mandalore. Who? Nobody has probably... Mandalore. There's no They're one from the there. cave people? Now you're just being a jerk if you think you need a warship. <laughs> <laughs> just bring a god. Just bring like a lighter and say that and you're go, a god that's on fire. <laughs> I'm a god. Axe Wolves is their leader now. Can't imagine Wolves will be happy to see you. Yeah. Oh yes, he's trying to get, they, they gotta get help from those mandos even though she's she's gotta have the dark saber though Welcome to Pleasure 15. You've been assigned a docking slip. why didn't they leave baby yoda with the mandos green time what happened they've taken control of the ship do you have an anti that on your ship this could be dangerous it probably will i'm sure there'll be blasters and shit oh yeah it's gonna be they'll be like oh as a democracy or something such and so you have to give us your weapons and go on a tour and they're like oh we want to go over there and the people are going to be like no you got to do a job for us I so they just want to happens. talk to the Mandos, but something's going to get in their way that fills the half hour, I guess. Each of those robots got 100 kills. That's why they unlock the black Neat. camo. <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet. They're badass. Why do they have Imperial droids on an independent world? We just established there is a series of Empire ships on this planet that she stole. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't there have been several Empire droids on those ships? Also, Does what do you Baby mean? Yoda it's an independent... Yeah, I guess so. He said be... it's an independent world. Why would they be Empire droids? Like, because the Empire fell apart? Yeah, because we bought their shit. It was cheap. Do you grant permission to scan your chain code? What did what button did you press to make that happen? <laughs> the <laughs> okay. mind button. Your presence has been requested. Please do not attempt to leave the vehicle. Oh, we're being kidnapped. Nice. What if Din Jaren started to vomit because like some people <laughs> oh, like no. that with. You know, some people, if they're like in a train or something and they're sitting facing backwards, it makes a motion sick. Well, then he's got to take the helm off, throw it, put it back on, and then drip a bit of water on him. He could just slip it up and spew it out and then slide the helmet back on. As long as he's got his little capsule of living waters, he can sort himself back out straight away. They're like quasi being kidnapped. Yeah. Here. Can't believe like, how much fucking time we wasted on getting him remandalified. Like, what was, the, what was the point of all that? Nothing. Oh my gosh, it's Jurassic Park. I well, see Jack Black already. Come. Yep. Oh, it's one of the frog people from the second episode. Second, second season, first episode. Look at him. Yes, that's the frog people. Oh look, it's a here. creature from Scorn. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was a lot. Yeah, look at him go. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Thanks to the New Republic Amnesty Program, I was able to help rebuild Plasia 15. Nice accent. 
Hmm. My husband came here as part of his rehabilitation. Wow, was that like two things stitched together? Was that line, two things stitched together? Distracting me. We did fall in love. I'm glad that you guys are having a good time. This feels really like there was a house party where you dress up as a Star Wars and you come and have fun and then they recorded it. She's like, oh God, I'm being attacked by a baby. I'm just gonna assume the baby can eat this food. Yeah, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Because that's what you do is when other people show up with a baby, you just start feeding it random shit. And the Mandalorian privateer warships. We hire them for protection. Our charter forbids us from having a military because of my husband's- You're not allowed a military, but you're allowed to yeah, hire well, metal, mercenaries. Metal knows all about this. How does that work though? You're not allowed a military, why, but you're allowed a spot? big group of fleet and soldiers as long as you pay for them. I guess style. if it's small enough, it's like how it works in real life. If you lose a war or something, you can have like a security detail or something like that, but you can't have like a proper military. Depends on what you have. I guess so you they're can have not like, like huge, but they're still pretty big out there. They've got like the, they've even got a capital ship. They've got the Star Destroyer as well. We have a problem. A droid problem. What kind of droid problem? A malfunction. Well, there's your side quest, Rags. We have a droid problem. What's that thing following her? Is that part of her dress? <laughs> is this like a fucking, oh. like, is this like a cosmetic you buy from an MMO? Yeah. 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 Our constables are ill-equipped to confront battle droids. Battle right, this sounds like a you problem. Can we talk to the Mandalorians? Former battle droids. They've been rehabilitated for civic duty. Re you don't. You don't have to rehabilitate. Rehabilitate them. a droid? How does that make? You just reprogram it. You just give it programming. Our charter forbids any standing army from entering our city. Our constables aren't even allowed to carry blasters. But you can hire. Okay, you can't carry blasters, but you can hire Mandalorians and warship. Okay, you lost me. You allowed us to be armed. You are Mandalorians. Weaponry and armor are intrinsic to your culture, are they not? It's because it's a part of their. Fu that doesn't. That's such a huge loophole dude you're not allowed any guns here unless it's a part of your culture <laughs> like oh uh we it is we have decided then. that this is part of our culture yeah our exactly culture. i'm we, a we gloop of flume I, I need my cannons okay <laughs> like, it's just... my religion i would hope that this excursion would be viewed as an act of diplomacy between our two planets what two planets Plazir 15 would formally recognize Mandalorian why do i give a shit why would mandalorians give a damn about what these people think i have no clue this is a crazy deal that they're being offered just yeah. because they came here yeah 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 <laughs> Nuts. Just say no, we want to talk to the Mandalorians. I'm confused, why aren't, they using, go, why aren't they using their current Mandalorians to do this job? Why do they need these two? What do you think? You had me at battle droids. Okay, I guess you you aren't busy and you don't have things to do uh, then. I get what, yeah, There's, what, what, because they were saying it's like, what's part of your culture to have weapons, but surely it's part of the culture of the Mandos that you hired. Yeah, they have like... They too sufficiently organized that they're not allowed inside because they count as an army. But just they, say, they, uh, they just said that they are allowed those ones. Oh, I know. I know. That's what I mean. I don't get it. Why does that look like shit? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, it looks oh, pretty gloomy. Also, hi, Christopher Hello, Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Hello. This is just a small collection of malfunctions. Collection. Collection. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to get some crazy, like, people getting uh -huh. their heads ripped off by robots or something? That would be strange. We kind of fucked up. Oh uh -oh. god, that one's got like oh, knives geez. for hands. Why not turn them all off? Turn them off and get jobs, fuckers. There's a failsafe cutoff switch built into this. Oh, is it the big red glowing button? <laughs> it's a that big red a... glowing button. That's, that's However, gonna come up it's later. behind glass. I'm too old to break the glass. They vote against any interruption, huh? What? But that they're going haywire. And why is that? The citizens are no longer required to work. Oh, okay. So this episode ends with the robots being dismantled and the people having to work again. It's like probably, a, yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. Well, there's only a couple of robots that have a problem. So this is like a episode of a like NCIS some type of shit. These gonna buddy cop their way through fi figuring out what's wrong. Probably. Just to understand, you have a huge team of Mandos. You could have done this with ages ago. Why these two? I don't. I don't get it. Give us the list. Well, for that, you'll have to go to the lower level and speak to the Ugnots. You don't have it. Why don't Why you have the list? I was going to say, if you've got the security footage, then yeah. you should be able to identify which droids are the ones that are having problems, yeah. right? See what happens when you rely on droids. Oh, shut the fuck shut up, up, Mando. The, <laughs> one, the <laughs> galaxy has been relying on droids for thousands this of years. This motherfucker nearly got everyone Mando, killed the of this season, by trying the of this season, to run with that IG-11. Yeah. yeah, and then it tried to kill you, so what shut up. What an up. idiot. How could he possibly life, make that comment? Here. He's the only droid I trust tries to kill me. Oh, he's like a child with droids. He doesn't even know how they work. That's one of those big battle droids as well, with the rocket hands. Super battle droids. The rocket you pods. What, you don't make these on an assembly line or something? Maybe they're like, reformatting these ones or something. I am Mandalorian Din Djarin, friend of Ugnot Quill. How would they possibly know who that is? Well, it's a small galaxy, all the Ugnots know the Ugnots. Yeah. Bullshit, he lived on like, what, the outskirts of Tatooine, these guys all know him, huh? 
Thank you for your hospitality and for sharing your table with us. No, you guys are pricks until we mentioned that we knew one of you across yeah. the galaxy and you were ignoring us until then. You people are jerks. Fuck you. Your droids are wreaking havoc in the world above. There is not much of which we are not aware. Uh -huh. Manners. I assure you the droids are not malfunctioning. Wow, that does not match. The... They're not malfunctioning? <laughs> have you seen the this videos? They're clearly malfunctioning. <laughs> I have spoken. Oh, the I have spoken I shit. Anyway, suggesting that your work is to blame. The yeah, don't be so insecure. Possible. We're just talking about droids, droids mess it up. Yeah. So they're rude yeah, and insecure. Great. Another, another, why is the show making me racist? <laughs> those fucking Argonauts. Do you have one of those little Babu Frick fuckers around here? Yeah, those, they were way They cool listen ones. to me. Here are the locations of the droids. So we don't have any malfunctioning droids. However, here's a list of malfunctioning list droids. Of <laughs> I have spoken. We're Just because they're too proud to admit it, that's the whole thing. Wow, really. what that... a shitty scene. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, at least Mando learned something from, uh, it was Nick Nolte played the one in season one, right? Queel. Yeah. That's the all there was to it, it was just- get a statue built for- I know, I know that's all there Don't was upset to it. them, because they're very sensitive, you're like, ugh. And also, I know the I have spoken thing, because of my buddy who didn't get a statue. Also, I, I'm Din Djarin, the guy who got him killed. IG, and also, he created the IG-11 unit who got the statue. Statue or reprogrammed him. Yeah. Yep. No statue for Nick Nolte. <laughs> Did Justin Bieber the Super Mario Droids kind of look shit? Yeah, I don't know. They look weird. I haven't seen battle droids since the Clone Wars. Any of them look suspicious. Any, uh, that's any of them look suspicious? Building. What the fuck? The more this goes on, the more I get confused about the state of droids in Star Wars. Well, I don't know if you heard it, but Bo-Katan said she hadn't Duchess seen these since the Clone Wars. Wars. It's like, really? The yeah, Duchess didn't give any. them an ID? I've had the what are you doing, Mando? Why would they stop, Mando? Dumbass. What is he doing? I thought they were just checked out. They were. Yeah, what are you doing? Why are you being a prick? <laughs> is, this, is this his way to figure out if there's a malfunctioning one if he wants him to shoot back? <laughs> Lol. Oh, this actually yeah. was it. Oh, so you Christ. just knock it over and it goes, hey, why'd you shoot that one? <laughs> What are we just doing, Blade Runner now? Like, any of them that are sentient, we must uh, execute. <laughs> Did you need that for the job? Whatever. She's cool. Also, why is that droid running away? Isn't it programmed to he fight? He wants to live. He wants to live. That's what I, I mean. Want to be free. That's what I was trying I to say. Like, to be a slave. we've not we've not really established free. anything here in terms of his evilness. He's just trying not to be killed. And <laughs> like, yeah, that box yeah. looked kind of light. After Mando kicked him, yeah, I, I mean, the boxes. It you'd could never be. Believe. It could uh, be this droid is like terrified of being killed when people find out he can think for himself or something. Yeah. You know, yeah, this is exactly. kind of like iRobot, too. A little bit. Yeah. Look at him running around. Wow. Now it's like actively trying to kill Wait, why? people. He doesn't. Wait, oh, where's geez. Mando's jetpack? Wow. Why isn't he using that? Why isn't she using his? Why doesn't he have it? You can I fly, guys. She has hers. You can fly. Or is his underneath his uh? Cape. It looked like he didn't have it on. It doesn't look like he, I don't think he, no, has he it doesn't on, have it on. He clearly doesn't have. Yeah, what's up with that? When did he lose it? So if the droid turned we left, a... uh, how did you know that? that... How did yeah. you possibly uh... know? How did you possibly know? Ugh. Damn, that's the end of him. This is a crime scene. Okay. What was the crime of the droid again? Running away when it was attacked. I guess that's more than it should be allowed to do. I found a spark pad. The resistor. Sounds like a droid bar. What's a spark pad? I yeah. don't know what a spark what, pad is. What does that do? Is that like a wallet for droid? What, what is a spark pad? Tell me. Was what it his? It, like, yeah, was it his wallet? They They're just... not allowed to leave a crime scene. <laughs> they just took his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> they just took the droid's wallet and left. Let me do the talking in there. You kicking droids? is really not helpful. I don't understand. He's clearly proven he's better at talking to these people than you are, Bo. Why would we have him shut up? I guess because he's... Is, is he, Are we going back to him hating droids? I don't know. We haven't done that in forever. We it did the opposite like in episode one. Okay, so are robots, like, sentient? Or... Wow. The Star Wars world doesn't really like to deal with that yeah. question. Well, mm. then don't make a droid bar. <laughs> Especially now, yeah, you're making you know, minds are yeah, wandering. Definitely wandering. This is, um, this is a social space. This is a little. Yeah, yeah I don't know if they want to like, tread down this path. I like this droid bar. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Look at all these little robots. That spark pad was found on a rogue battle droid. We give out lots of spark pads. What yeah. Are they like, exactly. just like, yeah, it's like our cards. There has been a string of malfunctions that all point to this oil can. You can check. No, the there's just a spark we pad you found with our name yeah, on it. Yeah, what is this? Yeah. What? If you don't start Are you threatening us? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> what the fuck? What do we do? 
doing here? He's, he's just a borrowed, a humble, a humble bartender. Is... Why are you doing that? Jesus Christ. Nobody leaves. Oh God, he's threatening all of them. A word. Has Mando lost his mind? What's going on? I don't know. Well, but, no, you can't turn around. I can't, you, you can't turn around after telling someone that. Also, you can, they can totally hear you. You can't reason with droids. Their behavior is programmed. They're also programmed not to harm organics. How's that going? They're malfunctioning, Mando. <laughs> I want to help. You want me to pull your hearing sensors too? Oh my god. I can't not hear. Like, you can't not hear. Yeah, maybe you could just talk quieter, you idiots. There are concerns among my customers that we will be replaced. Well, these catastrophes don't help your argument. That's literally the bartender's point, and Mando points it out as yeah. like... The New Republic would send them to scrap. Here on Plazir, they are given a second chance. That's so fucking annoying. The bartender's like, I'd like to help you, because I don't want this shit to happen. Then Mando's like, oh yeah? Well... It's not very good for you, is it? We don't want to be replaced. We still have a lot to contribute. Yeah, see, all the droids are like, yeah, we want to we wanna yeah, help. Yeah, Organics them. created us, so we just want to help Organics do stuff. Yeah, we don't want no, to go No, I'm sure they're all evil. They're die. all evil except IG-11 that tried to kill me. Here, droids are served Nepenthe. So Nepenthe reprograms the droids that drink here? Because someone spiked it. The malfunctioning droids all imbibed from the same batch of Nepenthe. Wow. We solved this really quick. I was going to say, that's just... Yeah. You were staggeringly you helpful you too. Turn this bartender yep. into a detective. The <laughs> yeah, the bartender did all the work for you guys. A morgue for droids. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so have they never done this before? They've never checked the Nepenthe in each of the droids? No, because what do they don't all have those an army. What people who work in the lab do? What is their job? This is, they've done this like... the wrong way around. This should have been first, and then we find yeah, out where let's... the Nepenthe is from, and then we go to the bar. Yeah. The exactly. droids are functioning. So, hang let's on. See Did what's they, up. Didn't didn't they say there's no one that needs to work anymore? She's clearly doing work right now. Shouldn't there be a robot doing this? The particles are definitely present. What are the chances that they're still active? Wait, did they just feed the fucking Nepenthe to one of the droids in here and it's trying to kill them now? Are you guys what? stupid? Wait, Why do you give droids these fucking insanely high-powered lasers? How did you miss? <laughs> oh, there he goes. No, just shoot it with your gun! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so they wanted to analyze this liquid that makes droids try to kill humans. Like, with a droid. Nice work, guys. These are the sub-particles. They're actually nano droids. Oh yeah, yeah. Machine, if you checked, you would have discovered this on your own. I don't understand how there's been any uh, investigation here. How is this something that got checked anyway? It's writing. Oh, we got that doesn't look like writing, you prick. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Still doesn't. Oh, now it kind of does. If it has a chain code, then we should be able to determine its point of origin. Okay. Why does it have a chain code on it? They were originally manufactured by the Techno Union, been in cold storage for ages. They were requisitioned by the security office. Wow, this is, is really illegal? useful chain code that's just there. I was about to say... It's illegal. So why is it on there? That's just like leaving your fingerprints on the gun. These why? Were, these droids were ordered by an individual. Is there a name? Oh, is that on the chain code? Wow, oh, it actually is! <laughs> so, Chris Lloyd just left every... Hellgate. <laughs> he left all of the information on the very liquid that is the first thing that people might check in the droids that are going crazy. Good job, man. God, Christopher Lloyd, the years have not been kind to your mind. You used to travel through time. <laughs> what a stupid fucking idiot. What, what was the plan? They didn't malfunction. You programmed them to disrupt an attack. <gasps> Everyone freeze! <laughs> we will convert the planet's docile workforce back into battle droids. Well, surely oh they need God. orders beyond just being back to battle droids. No, I don't want to do Atomic Heart again. Please, stop it. Don't make me do it. Okay, don't make so me do it. Okay, what now do do? what then? Give yourself up. I didn't give up to the corrupt republic. I didn't give up to the empire. Is he a separatist? And I won't give up to you. You're a separatist. Oh, so he's like a separatist, separatist remnant. A it's not pejorative. They concept. identify as separatists. Yeah. Count Dooku was a visionary. He was cut Oh, are we doing this? This is like the most in the interesting Jedi thing they've ever done. Forces. Oh, never mind. Bye. Oh, wow. And okay. it's a joke. It's funny. Yeah, hey, cool. Oh, wow. That might have killed we literally, him having him fall like that. Good God. That's, we talked about this so many years ago about the idea of distant remnant separatists and them mm -hmm. talking about why they like I mean, Count Dooku. Yeah. It's like Count they Dooku literally put that in there that just to tickle our balls, and that was it. It was like, boom. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you want to play, um, what is this, Roach Cricket? Why are we, what is- Oh my god, is this animal abuse? This is like Road to El Dorado, the, uh, little armadillo rolling up into a ball. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the hip, the hip. What, what are you doing with Commissioner Hellgate? Does it, doesn't this feel like SNL? It does feel like a Like Christopher joy. Lloyd, Jack Black, and Lizzo. <laughs> Despicable. If that isn't the Quachter, 
calling the stiffling slime. Isn't the stiffling slime calling the slim slime? It was just. I had a feeling you hated me. I'm disappointed in you, Commissioner. Oh my God. No one hates my husband but me. Dude, this feels like the end of a Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> I know his heart is true. I can't believe you did this, old man Winklestein. <laughs> this is Among like an actual us. joke show. Yeah. This show is like an actual joke. This is what's playing on an Aqua Teen Hunger Force television as like a joke show in a joke show. It does feel like it's gotten worse, too, because when Bill Burr, like, guests in this, he plays a character and they take it seriously. This is like... I don't even know what this is. As for now, you must live in exile on the moon of Paraquat. Okay. What? Do you even know what he did? Does he get a trial? <laughs> do you even know what he did? <laughs> oh, he's just. Leaving. Oh, bye. I'll take care no, of that. No, Don't guys, you he's worry. He's still under arrest. No, we have to go. Uh, no, no, he can't the leave. Police droids are there. The police so, droids. Yeah, they let people leave crime scenes though. Have you guys cleared out the 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 wonky? He didn't get a trial. He's been sentenced yeah. and found guilty. Yes, yeah, done. Right there on the spot. Didn't this they say in the beginning? Democracy, you're tyrants. Yeah, I was about to say, but it's like the last democracy is the ultimate. Well, remember, the Nepenthe is still out there. It's still corrupting oh, droids. Yeah. We haven't fixed that. But oh well. Oh, it looks like one of the it's the one of the little robots from the kitchen in the Boba Fett episode. Wait, yeah, the one he strangled. Yeah. Isn't the fucking key to the planet. No, this guy sucks. Ever care to ever return here, please? Is this a key that we could use to escape? I hope. Can I hit you with this key? And to this little one. I grant knighthood. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did it do? What is happening? Knighthood. You're a knight now. What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can't. Why would you hire Blackjack and give him less lines? Yeah, he's barely oh in this. God. It's a cameo. This They're all fucking cameos. This is a bit. This, this is a what? long SNL bit. sketch complete. It really all right. is. All oh of that bullshit God. is just so that we can carry on with the plot line, side which is so fucking thin. Get. That was a side quest if there ever was one. Yeah. Yeah. They're Mandalorians. You're their leader. They're going to follow you. She doesn't have Ooh. the dark saber. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta have the dark saber. Was why they left. You got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the dark saber. That means I have to do what you fucking tell them to do or some bullshit. Yeah. Who cares if they follow her? You follow her. They follow you because yeah. you have the dark then saber. You just do it. You just have her tell you what to have. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. When she them. says we go over here and they go, no, we listen to Mando, and he goes, listen to her. What she <laughs> I'm says. Your boss. Mando just says, says, do what they say. Hey guys, did you notice like weird robots are running amok? Why are there leaves when there's Genuinely speaking around? though, if they adhere to this stupid Darksaber shit so much, they should be following him. They should be like, yeah. oh my god, Lord and Master Mando. Have you come back to join the mercenaries? I've come to reclaim my fleet. What? Speak up! We can't hear what? you from all the way over there. I'm now in command and grown quite fond of it. What's with this tense music? I don't know. <laughs> is she gonna I, kill I him? Know. Then I challenge you. Oh my god. No, Four. that's dumb. What do I have to gain? Does this do anything? This is you need the saber. What if he just says no? Do this is dumb. Also, wait, why is he the leader now? He doesn't have the dark saber either. I do. How does this How... leadership shit work? I don't so know. you just the person who's best with shooting a pistol wins and gets to be in I charge? Wow, yeah. <laughs> a lot of missile you had just all got that time and didn't do anything? You suck. So is this like a fight to the death or I something? I mean, these are a lot- Damn, these are- could kill. Oh, all these hits could kill. Are guns not allowed? I guess not? I don't know. She's you a fight a missile lady. at it, so- You fight a missile, yeah. How did she oh not react? God. That was so telegraphed. How come all of the action is just like shit nowadays? I don't know. All action suck. He's punched her in the face like twice and then did that. The, 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 all this is is both of them let each other oh, get Jesus hit. Christ. Yeah, he nearly oh, killed God. his own men there. <laughs> Wait, but the blade's uh -oh. not at his throat. Your yeah, arm he is. wasn't quite there. But... You just landed head first into also, a ship. Also, damn. Two uh, fucking hard her... punches to the face there. She took three punches to the face and she's unfazed. Oh, shut up. That's not how that <laughs> works at all. No. Well, that's it. Does this change literally anything, though? You'll never be the true leader of all people. Oh, there you go. Changes literally nothing. You won't even take the dark saber from me. He's like, hey. Yeah, is that something they care about? I guess they do. I guess so. Enough Mandalorian blood has been spilled by your own hands. You were going to kill him. That's probably something you should let you, us know about in this show, by the way. So what if he just shoots you in the back of the head? Oh, that'd be fucking so basic say, right he there. Never <laughs> he didn't that'd be so goddamn based. If he just God, pops no, her in the back of the not head. A speech, not a dramatic speech. This guided zealot possesses the blade, who has not one drop of Mandalorian blood in his veins. Lo, 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 I said that. Din Djarin took the creed and chose to walk the way. He's yeah, just, he just, slipped just into just the never. living waters and saw a mythosaur or something. It would be funny if he wasn't even there, Mando. He's literally just a fucking cutout she put there because he hasn't yeah. said anything. <laughs> he might as well be. The ruler of Mandalore must possess the dark saber. 
then she shall have it. Why? Don't tell me that he could just give it to her. No. Well, he tried earlier, but she said no. Yeah, I have he to didn't no, there's no given. Exactly. There's got to be something else. They were very clear. You can't give it. It's not a gift to be given, no matter how well intended. Okay, good. At least she pointed that okay, out. Okay, then like punch it's me or something, and I'll yield. While exploring Mandalore, I was captured. Oh, they do the thing we said. I, yeah, we mentioned yeah. this. Bo-Katan rescued me. And Technically meaning that after. she now owns the Darksaber. What the fuck took him so long to realize that was a yeah. thing? God, these stupid fucking rules, man. And everyone, like, looks at each other. Oh, what are we supposed to think? I well, once again, a significant plot element has been developed, and it's based on hearsay. It's like, is there any proof of this even happening? It's like, shut up. It did. They may as well have made it up. I mean, bo didn't have the saber, and it's like, that's kind of weird if your story's true. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Would this blade then not belong to her? It would. Oh, there you oh, go. I wow. Wouldn't... If you wow, didn't want okay, it, just, I guess that's... Could you have just said no? Oh, the green uh, dude, screen's you know, bad. You know what I think oh, all wow. this is? I think everyone here realizes that's a lie, but fuck it. Why not? Whatever. We want her to have the saber. That means Banner doesn't have to die. Whatever. There you go. She's got it now. She can lead both the two. Man, bo really rising in the ranks of importance in this uh, universe, huh? Yeah, very quickly. Yeah, wow. Rip Mando. Look, from one cardboard character to another. She seems to have more character than him, but I don't really know much about it. Is this going to be like super light? Okay. This is a pretty good way of representing their goals with this season. Mando just off to the yeah. side there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, back. Mando. Uh, well, that was shit and pointless. We've got annoying mm -hmm. small problems to deal with, and randomly they just go like, that's not a thing anymore. And you're like, okay. Cool. All right, yeah. well. Okay. How many episodes we got left? It's like, uh, two. Two. <laughs> yeah, Jesus well, Christ. And what the what amount again? of fucking Once time again, we've wasted. Easy. Once again, so I'm sitting here. What what are we doing next? No, well, we, uh, doing? we need to collect more mandos. The reason why it's so hard to it's grasp Mando the notion collecting. of what's going to happen next is because the writing is so piss. I have no idea. Yeah, like really reasonably, I don't know what's happening so in the next two episodes. She's going to bring. No, I don't know. I don't where to begin. She's going to bring them lot back to uh, Navarro. And we're probably going to do a nothing episode where they talk and maybe there's fucking a dragon. But then the last episode, I guess, will be Moff Gideon, the Empire, and evil Mandos, probably. possibly, versus our Mando team. Probably, yeah. I can't believe we've got two left. Like, th nothing has been put in place that is interesting at all. It's something that has become more and more and more apparent the more that we watch this show, is they waste a lot of time with, like, scenes that are very bloated. And they're just bloated by, like, nothing. Like, people not talking or repeating information we already know. Not building character or meaningfully advancing the plot or doing it in an expeditious way. It's just bloat. This episode is 40 minutes. Like, isn't that ridiculous, really? It's absurd. It's that is ridiculous. Everything to do with Jack Black and Lizzo should have been cut out, and we should have reformatted is this whole Lizzo? battle droids Her? thing, as far as I know, yeah. I, I actually don't know, I've just seen people talking about it. And it, this was an episode where we could have done shit with droids, but oh well. Oh, she's a flutist. Cool. That's fun. It seemed like a we really weird and strange thing, the whole her and Jack Black thing, like the whatever that was, like, welcome to our cool little well, city, we need you for a job. Cameo side yeah. quest, really, because that's all it was. It was a side quest. We didn't really do anything meaningful in terms of the exploration <laughs> of whatever themes could have been derived from the subject matter, well, well, whether it be clone sentience or whether or not there's people who still believe in causes that at this point are dead in this world. Exactly. There's so many um, opportunities here, but none of them are taken. You know for fact if this was in the Andor show, they would have done they so would. much with this. Imagine before Mando and her execute that super battle droid, it said, please no. Yeah, yeah. but, oh boy, that's some heady stuff that... Uh, yeah, ugh. this show isn't ready for it. Andor's ready for that. I think it's part of what got me so angry so quickly with Mando kicking him around. It's like, imagine you're this decommissioned battle droid that was controlled into shooting people and now just wants to live a fucking life. And then this mm -hmm. guy who's clearly hunting for quote-unquote malfunctioning droids, and you know that they'll kill you without a second's notice, kicks you over, and so you fucking hit him over back because you're like, I gotta get out of here, they know, they know it's me, they know I'm, uh, I'm thinking for myself kind of droid, and then they hunt him down and shoot him and steal his money. <laughs> I like, yeah. I just, it's, <laughs> it's insane. I'm desperate for a brain to take over the right of this, because like, God, the implications of what you've just done. But oh well. John Favreau yeah. has written most of these episodes. What is the thought process behind the writing? I don't, I don't, like it... It seems like it's basically just some dot points is what comprises the script. Because, I mean, look at the scene with her getting her army back. It's like, bo gets her, like, army back. Don't you love how they didn't even make it that there was, like, a quest that she needed to do for them? It was just some other side quest so that she could get the right to talk to them, and then we have another shitty action scene, and then they yeah, just... Yeah, why wasn't it, like, a, then you have to... If, if you want to lead us, you have to do the Mandalorian uh, trial of 
Blig uh, well, I guess I guess they'd be like, well, no, you see, Rags, you're not a professional writer. We already did that with Mandalorian of him going oh, to bed in the living yeah. waters. We, <laughs> it would be redundant to have two characters complete two different quests that That's have right. different meanings and their different creeds since they don't all believe in the same thing. Like, yeah, of what course. Yeah, two different warrior cultures was. wouldn't have multiple like trials exactly. or rites exactly. or rituals. And would that yeah. be interesting to teach us something a bit different? Like the, the Mandalorian yeah, and they both help each other. Mando belongs to complete yeah, the respective exactly. creeds. I know. Been fun. I know and every December that they share something in common, you know, at the end of the yeah. day, they're all Mandalorians. I know every December I, you know, whenever I walk under the mistletoe and someone wants to kiss me, I'm like, no, 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 no. No, we already have the trial of placing the, we already have the ritual of placing the presents under the green tree. So we can't have more than two <laughs> customs <laughs> that are in our culture. We've already used that one. I think that it's even uh. more fascinating that um, you have, like, like think of Bo-Katan as, as her adventure so far. It was, uh, I'm with these guys and we're hunting for the Darksaber. Where is it? It's like, uh, you know, Gus Fring has it. All right, so we got to go kill him, defeat him in battle, and we will finally be able to lead Mandalore to victory. Unfortunately, he was defeated in battle by Mando, and he's a cool guy. I don't want to attack him. So they're like, oh, shit. And then her men are like, well, kill him. She's like, why the fuck would I kill him? He literally, like, he's a good guy and he helped us out. I'm like, what the fuck? They go, well, you know what? Not following you anymore. I'm like, oh. And then she runs off into a little house and sits there for a while until the baby turns up and says, my dad's in trouble. Goes and saves him and then just starts running on some adventures with him because she's literally got nothing to do. And then she's like, why don't I just fucking give a shot at seeing I can be their leader again? Why, uh, why not? Fuck it. And then they tell her the exact same thing they've told her every time. And she's like, well, shit, I guess we'll go home. And then Mando's like, no, 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 no. Think about it. Trust me, 100%. You've heard <laughs> this now. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And then everyone's like, yeah, okay. Like, it, this has been so awful. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. even know what to say. It really like, has. It, like, who has the fucking rule book here? Honestly, like, is everything just made up? Is this all just bullshit? Like, all of these, all these rules? Yes. Like, who's in charge <laughs> of this madness? No one is. That's a problem. <laughs> it's just anybody could say, I'll go challenge you to tic-tac-toe and then... We, you're gonna win and I get the dark saber. I genuinely thought that was gonna happen. He was gonna say like, uh, you can win it off me if you can defeat me in a game of Gablach. And then you're like, yeah. what's that? And they explain the rules and then, yeah, then they you know, and it's a like, game that oh. you have to try in order to convince You can only you know, win when you're a woman. It's like, ah, oh, I lost, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the Star Wars universe. What, what was yeah, say, the last he, guy was a man, we have to swap. No. I thought maybe he'd pick oh, a game that he can't fake losing. He would have to actually try and she has to actually beat him or something. But no, it's even stupider than that. It's just, remember that, that weird fucking blood-sucking thing that <laughs> tried to kill me and you killed? Can say that for, Whatever. Can say that as a meme? It's like, hey, didn't he technically won the Darksaber now? And she should have it. makes it. me wonder you know, they actually do it it's if like, oh, no. at the end of episode two when they were like chilling out for a little bit if, if she had just said by the way he kind of did defeat you and i defeated it so and i have the dark saber and then man was just like yeah okay pretty heavy anyway I right. well, that scene that scene would have been about as effective as this one <laughs> it was just yeah. like okay like, also, also you, good job mando letting her fight first and then oh yeah you know what you could have it here i have an explanation everything it's like oh maybe we should have started with that so he didn't have to fucking fight the put the guy if we were told to construct a scene in which she does end up with that dark saber because she defeats the thing that defeats mando wouldn't it be the season finale where gideon comes back or some bullshit for you know somehow gideon returns and he fights him and loses and he's about to die but she's you know fights him and she doesn't have a dark saber and she manages to avoid every attack from him until she beats him and it's like there you go you finally got it whatever like isn't that way more fun than just i don't know that creature from episode two. There you go. Yeah. Like, what I'm talking about is a payoff we wouldn't even like that much, but so much more substantive than, you know, we just happen to have that shit happen. It makes me think that if one of those cave people that attacked him in the in the place, if they had punched Mando in the face and he got, like, knocked out and dropped the sword and then she shot in the head, it'd be like, well, Dark Saber's mine. That's a problem if you have stupid-ass rules. Nothing about their investigation made any fucking sense and all of it was a waste oh, of time. Baby Yoda yes. is literally Sorry. only here to go, goo. Yeah. And you might be like, well, huge. what do you expect? It's a baby. And you're like, you know what? That's a good fucking point. <laughs> Maybe leave it somewhere safe. Maybe. Also, Christopher Lloyd. I hope he wasn't too yeah, cold yeah. when filming his scenes. He seemed like he's in, I mean, for considering he's probably like 126, like he looks pretty good. You know, he's moved, he's walking, he's now he's, uh, you know. Imagine this having a fucking... Like go-to new episode for, well, like, what could be plots in the Star Wars universe that they just don't do. Squander Everything completely. from old Separatists talking about Dooku, to what happens to battle droids, to fledgling democracy planets in the New Republic, like all that stuff. You could legitimately make interesting stories about these things, but it's just never going to happen. They're just no. going to kind of bring it up and... I would fucking love... 
them to visit a planet that's outside the systems that needs some work because it's help with like mercenary shit and you find out it is just a guy who's like i'm a fucking separatist fuck the republic fuck the empire they're all bullshit Money's the only thing that talks in this universe and always has. I mean, as far as we know, like after watching all the movies, the like the best faction could unironically be the separatists. Like yeah. we don't know. We don't like, know. It, it could it could legitimately be that if the separate because the separatist was this massive league of planets, so like they could seriously ha get. Why haven't they become like a thing after the Republic falls and the Empire falls? All the separatists are like, yo, hey, Jim, Bob, like the Empire's done. We could like make our separatist thing right now. In fact, what's stopping them? Well, yeah, because the Separatists exist, uh, Revenge of the Sith, you know, that that sort of ends with, with all the leaders, but, like, the bodies still exist for all of them. Then the Empire yeah, reigns for, alive. what, 19 years? And then the Republic reigns for now. It's, it's reigning currently, but you'd think the Separatists... Yeah, you'd think there's, there's plenty of story to tell there if you want to. If I was in charge of, like, the Star Wars canon... I don't. I think I'd have to really think hard about a reason why the Separatists would not emerge as a dominant faction in the galaxy. They just get back together and be like, oh, okay, yeah, let's be a thing. And like, all those rules that we wanted to do, yeah, let's do it. And we, we can make like a, yeah, a droid army. We've done that before. We got some experience in that field. But I guess that would be interesting, so we're not doing it. Uh... It's, just a, it's just the episode of plot things, world building things that could have been, that could have existed, that could have been interesting. It's so it dumb, by the way. I'm just looking over it and she says, we have the Mandalorians outside and Bo-Katan says, why not use them for your droid problem? And she says, well, we're not allowed to have any army, not even our constables can use pistols. However, you guys, being Mandalorians, guns are part of your culture. And it's like, did you just forget hire... that they are Mandalorians? The people outside? <laughs> yeah, we can hire, yeah, we can hire yeah. warships that have, that are stocked, that are chocked full of Mandalorians with rockets and everything. No, but... no, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. It's He's saying we can't use those guys because we're not allowed an army. We can use you because you're Mandalorians. The ones outside are Mandalorians. It's like the premise of the episode. It doesn't make it like, why do they keep doing this? You broke it already. All you had to do actually was say they've recently gone haywire and our current like mercenary group are on a mission. They're not back yet. So, while yeah, you wait for that, them, can you help us with our problem? That's easy. Easy fix. Mm -hmm. But, like, for some reason they went with something that just doesn't make any sense at all. And they were on a mission! They were doing that thing in the prologue. Yeah, exactly. And they so you Karen... had every reason to just have it be set up that way, but for some reason you made it worse. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> that Bye, was everybody. Mandalorian Thanks Season 3, Episode uh, 6. Uh, Jesus Christ. Goodbye, Christ. everyone. <laughs> Toodaloo. See you later. Bye. Bye. That was a good one. Bye. What you bring?